My name is Cyril Verlet. I'm the founder of CDV Systems and the COO of Codebook Solutions. This is a presentation describing Codebook and how it turbocharges your BIM and CAD data outside of BIM and CAD. We're now going to look at how Codebook manages data from the validation perspective. So management, comparison, and validation of room data. Here's an Excel file. You're starting a brand new project. You receive an Excel file from the client and that Excel file lists all the equipment that's required for a particular project. The Excel file might have hundreds of columns of data where it defines all the required parameters within those pieces of equipment. Or perhaps these are columns of data that define all the additional required room data for a particular project or door information. For you to take this and have to populate this into a Revit model could take a huge amount of effort, quite a bit of time. In this workflow, rather than populating any of this in Revit, instead you can establish within the codebook database all the required parameters for room data. In fact, what you're looking at here are the parameters that define the requirements for the VA and the DOD. They have a very specific list of parameters that define room data and likewise the parameters that define equipment parameters that are required. So you create the parameters that are required both for room data, for equipment, and for doors. And then from the Excel file, you can batch load that data into a project. So before you've drawn anything in Revit or AutoCAD, you've already established the entire room list, all the requirements for those rooms. You've established the library of all the equipment, and you've loaded that equipment into the rooms. You've established the door information, and you've loaded those doors into the rooms. So now you've got a snapshot of the entire project in a codebook database, and you've, you haven't even linked to Revit or AutoCAD yet. Once you link, then within the codebook database, there are over 70 reports that allow you to validate data. So here's a report, for example, that allows you to compare the square footages of the required program versus what's physically in Revit. This is an actual snapshot of a project where you've got the Healthcare Management Division Department, you've got sub-departments coming out of that particular department, and within those sub-departments, there's a list of rooms, room names, room codes, line numbers. These are just parameters that, that you can apply from the Excel file into Codebook and then export out to a, a report. And then you have the required square footage per room from the Codebook database. Likewise, you have the actual square footage coming from Revit. And then it displays the discrepancies. Are you above the square footage, below the square footage? If the value in Revit is zero, it represents that that room exists in the program, but it doesn't yet exist in Revit. It has, it has been placed in Revit. These are the kind of 70 plus reports that output from the Codebook database, allowing you to compare and validate the program to the Revit or AutoCAD files. You can also predefine the list of required equipment. So here's a snapshot of a room where you can define all the required equipment for a room. The designed list displays the actual Revit families or the AutoCAD blocks or MicroStation cells that Codebook is finding in the room. And then of course the comparison tab describes what's missing and what's extra. I can't do this in Revit or AutoCAD. I can't predefine a list of equipment in AutoCAD or Revit. Here this workflow allows me to do that. Again it turbocharges BIM and CAD. And likewise you can create out of Codebook a report that describes the discrepancies. So here's a report directly out of Codebook that describes the pediatric department. And here's a room, the waiting room here. And these are all the pieces of equipment that describe what's required in that room. The values you see in black represent a perfect match. The required equipment that's part of the program and the equipment that's been placed into AutoCAD or Revit match perfectly. The values you see in blue represent equipment that's placed in the required list but does not yet exist in the Revit model or the AutoCAD file. So it displays blue. It's required, but it hasn't been placed in the model. Here you can see this, these chairs. There are 35 required. There are only 32 in Revit, and therefore three are missing. The values you see in red represent equipment that doesn't exist or that is not required inside the program, but it does exist inside of Revit, and therefore it's displaying in red. Again, this is a, another one of 70 reports that Codebook uses to validate the data and validate the, either the room data, the equipment, or the door requirements.